we started off really good with the starters. They looked good. And then as the months went on, it, I don't know whether hitters caught up with them or maybe it's mechanics. But there's Brandon Hyde addressed it a little bit earlier today in his press conference. There's something going on with the starters right now. Yeah, this is sort of what we expected when John Means went down with his injury, honestly, is the fact that this rotation without the anchor of John Means would struggle a little bit, and they have, and it's starting to catch up to them finally. What we didn't imagine was that the relievers would progressively get better. If yes. anything, we thought that they would come back down to earth, and they've gotten better and better as the season has gone along. So the only thing is Tyler Wells has pretty much been immune to this kind of dip that we've seen from the starters yes, recently. Yes. He's got a 2-4 ERA in his last three starts, so the hope is they can snap this streak of nine consecutive games in which an Orioles starter has not produced a quality start and Wells gives them a chance to do that going back to Tyler Wells it's like he's the guy that you didn't expect this from last year he was a rule five guy yeah pitching in the back end of the bullpen we heard that he could start and many of us doubted well how long is it gonna take him to stretch out not long it seems like the longer the season goes on the better he gets yeah he's has not gone over 88 pitches yet in a start so far this year but Brandon Hyde is hoping maybe he can get into the 90s today certainly stretch him out more as the season goes along and he's been excellent. I mean, even though he has not gone very deep into games, he has been very good. Obviously, we knew coming into the, the year that the stuff was going to be there. Yes. Kind of an experiment that we were expecting maybe at some point last year, but it starts in spring training this year, and he has been absolutely excellent going from a lights-out reliever last year to a quality starter this year. Earlier, you heard Brandon Hyde talk about Richie Martin, who's in the lineup. He's part of the roster moves for the Birds today. Martin selected from AAA Norfolk. Uh, Ramon Arias was in the lineup la last night, Paul. Scratched 45 minutes before the game. We find out that he's placed on a 10-day IL for a left oblique strain. Yeah, he is headed to the injured list, unfortunately. Now, when you see the injury oblique, typically it's not one that is going to be a short stint on the IL, but that's what the Orioles are hoping here as they made it retroactive to yesterday. So they're hoping that he can maybe come back during their homestand next week. He's expecting it to be a mild oblique strain, and the hope is he can come back. But on the flip side of that, Richie Martin, who has gotten a few opportunities over the year but certainly struggled with injury, he uh, gets the opportunity, and I spoke with Arias earlier today about the injury. Some soreness and tightness in the league. Uh, so I, just, I, I don't think like it's a major thing. It just need a couple of days and hopefully I'll, I'll be fine. So you think maybe back Toronto series you might be okay? Uh, I've been putting in DL, so maybe uh, put the series at home. I don't know. Okay. Uh, maybe one week or something. Okay. But, but I don't think it's more than that. You're swinging the bat pretty well obviously before that happened did you feel like you were getting yourself into a bit of a groove uh, actually uh, I, I felt like that happened because I was feeling too good and the BP and, and that maybe I just extra swing and that happened but uh, or whatever <laughs> what can we do <laughs> exactly. right, cool. thanks so much appreciate it Paul, I like Urias in this lineup I've said it before he's one of those guys sneaky hot he gets hot and you don't really realize it until you look up and say, man, he's been on a little tear for the last week. I, I think he's been doing well offensively. Defensively, he's solid at third base. I think this is one of those moves where, no, it's not Mount Castle. No, it's not some of the stars that you can name. But Arias is a big part of this lineup. This is a big blow for the Orioles. Yeah, you could make the case that his numbers were not as good as they should have been. He was hitting the ball hard, making a lot of hard contact. He hit 261 in the month of May, was struggling a little bit at the start of June, but the expectation was he was going to get his feet back under him. And Ramon Arias being out of this lineup certainly hurts them. But the hope is on the flip side with Richie Martin, he was hitting the ball incredibly well, had a 295 average with AAA Norfolk that he can carry some of that over to the Orioles. I, you know, I don't have anything to do with roster decisions on this team, but you kind of get the feeling that Richie Martin, okay, Richie, with all the young prospects in the infield, maybe you're auditioning for the next team. Right yeah. Now. You know, this is your opportunity to show what you can do, if not for this organization, maybe for the next organization. Yeah, people for, may forget he's just 27 years old yeah. because he's been in the organization for a few years, taken with the number one overall pick in the Rule 5 draft back in 2018, the first real big decision that Mike Elias had to make. And he has unfortunately had several injuries, a lot with the wrist and the hand. Now he's getting an opportunity, and the Orioles have done this before. No stone unturned. Even though he struggled at the big league level in the small sample size we've seen him, they're making sure that there's nothing left there that they have not seen from Richie Martin. And he 
based on the numbers he put up in Norfolk, has certainly deserved this call up. I know he's out of the lot of the day, get a day rest, but Anthony Santander, maybe the average isn't what you expect it to be or want it to be, but his contact, the damage, it just that home run he hit last night, that was an assault on the baseball. Yeah. That thing never came, like never went up and never came down. It just took flight. Yeah, he is incredible power from both sides of the plate, really. And he has developed so much as a hitter over the past couple of years. Another guy that people may think is a little bit older because of how long he's been on this team. Another Rule 5 guy. Another Rule 5 draft pick, of course. So somebody who has developed as a hitter, he's gotten very good with plate discipline during this season. So even though the average is not particularly right. high, and he's still driving the ball out of the ballpark. So. On-base percentage pretty high, too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Paul, you're the man. Thanks a lot, my man.